today I'd like to talk about two of my favourite things, which are tardigrades and fossils. So tardigrades have been around for an incredibly long time, and even survived the mass extinction events. But what do tardigrade fossils actually look like? Let's dive into the very small but very interesting tardigrade fossil record. The first tardigrade fossil was found in a very tiny piece of amber from Canada. It's 6 by 7 by 3 millimetres. And this specimen was formally described in 1964. The genus was named for a character in The Hobbit, a magical bear, with the species named in honour of William Legg, who collected and studied the fossils in 1940. The amber dates to the Cretaceous, so 60 to 80 million years ago. And what's incredible about this piece of amber is that it also contains a second tardigrade. It's likely a heterotardigrade or armoured water bear. And this one is not well preserved. It was considered too shriveled for any details to be compared to modern tardigrades. So it hasn't been formally described, but here's a picture of it. The next tardigrade fossil was formally described in 2000. It was found in a piece of amber from New Jersey. And this specimen is at least 10 million years older than the other tardigrade. This one dates to the Turonian. And this tardigrade belongs to the Milnesium genus and it looks remarkably similar to modern milnesiums. It's beautifully preserved, with the claws and the buccal lamellae visible, and this species was named for the man who discovered it and donated it for research. It's considered the oldest known true tardigrade. So what does that mean? Well, that brings us to the fascinating fossils found in Siberia from the Middle Cambrian. These fossils were described in 1992, and they come from limestone and have been phosphatized, which is a rare condition that preserves fine details. And the rock was etched with acetic acid and studied under microscope, which reveals four tiny specimens. And they're very clearly related to tardigrades, but they have some fascinating differences as well. And most importantly, they only have three pairs of legs instead of the usual four. And one of the larger of these fossils showed a set of folds, which could indicate another pair of limbs eventually developing, so it's possible that these specimens are a larval phase that doesn't occur in extant tardigrades. So these fossils have been interpreted as a stem group rather than true tardigrades. The authors even suggested that their body shape could indicate that they had a parasitic lifestyle where they were attached to a living host and sucked on body fluids. So that's the amazing fossil record of tardigrades dating all the way back to the Cambrian. I hope you enjoyed learning about it, and if you'd like to know more, then the articles that I've discussed in this video are listed in the description. So next time, I'd also like to talk about the really exciting recent discovery of mold pigs, which are related to tardigrades, but very fascinating and quite different at the same time. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.